Hey guys, Max here from ShopSolarKits.com. Today's video, we're going to be looking at the newest unit from EcoFlow, the Delta Pro. We've also got an expansion battery here, so we're going to be looking at that as well. We're going to start off the video by doing a full overview. They've changed a lot here with the Delta Pro. We've got an all new battery chemistry. We've got a dedicated 30 amp service. You can even roll up to an electric vehicle charging station and charge this unit up right from there. So there's a lot to get into and I'm going to be sure to cover it all in this video. We're then going to run and throw this through a couple of tests so you can really understand what you get with a unit like this. And then to wrap up the video, we're going to talk about some of the use cases so that you can make an educated decision about whether or not this is right for you and your family. We've timestamped the bottom of the video as well so you can hop through to the various parts that you want to know more about. The Delta Pro is able to pack a pretty big punch into still a fairly small frame. The physical size of the unit, 16 and a half inches tall, just under 10 inches wide. From end to end, it's just over two feet long. You can see here the size difference between the Delta Max and the Delta Pro. I'm also gonna link above here to the video where we compare the Delta 1300 to the Delta Max. So you can see the size difference there. The Delta Pro is bigger than the Delta Max. I am surprised though with how much more powerful and how much of a bigger battery this unit has. I would have assumed that the physical size would be a lot bigger than the Delta Max. One of the biggest changes with this unit here is actually the battery chemistry within. So the cells that make up this unit have switched to LFP battery cells from NMC. They've switched to lithium iron phosphate battery cells within this unit here. I'm not gonna get too technical, but what that means is the cycle life, how many times you can drain it, charge it all the way back up, has increased dramatically. You can get around 3,500 plus life cycles until this drains down to about 80% of its original capacity. That means you can literally discharge and fully recharge this every single day for nearly a decade before you would see any type of battery degradation whatsoever. So it really is a dramatic increase. The Delta Pro has also increased in terms of the inverter power and the battery power. Up until now, the biggest unit EcoFlow has made has been the Delta Max, which had a 2400 watt inverter and just over 2000 watt hours of battery. This unit here has a 3600 watt inverter and a 3600 watt hour battery. It is a huge step up in terms of both output and battery power. Another one of the major changes to the Delta Pro is the dedicated 30 amp service. RVers, campers have been asking for this for a long time. The ability to take the 30 amp service coming off of their RV and just plug it directly into a unit. This is fantastic, so that means you can power your entire camper just by plugging it into the unit here. That's it. The next big change, obviously, is going to be the design of the unit itself. Since EcoFlow has changed to LFP battery cells, it does add a little bit of weight to the unit. This unit here is nearly 100 pounds, so it does make it a little bit more difficult to maneuver. They've done a really good job with this, though, and put on these wheels here on the back. They've also included the handle directly on the front that you're able to pull out and just wheel their unit back and forth quite easily. I'm going to start with what's familiar for everybody who knows about EcoFlow, and that's the general look of the front side and the back side of the unit. As we can see here on the front, there's four USB charging ports and two quick charging 100 watt USB-C ports. This is the power button to turn on and off the unit. We've got four standard 20 amp outlets. These are like the outlets that you'll get at your house. And then we've got a dedicated 30 amp service on the front here. If we want to turn on all of these outlets, the AC on button will accomplish that. One of the major changes is that we now have two ports on the side of the unit, one on the top here and one on the bottom. If we pop open the top port here, we'll see up at the top we have a 30 amp DC output with an Anderson power pole connector. So you can get 30 amps directly from the DC side of the unit. We have a regulated 12 volt output here and we've got two of the DC barrel ports here as well. Right here is where you would connect the remote. You can get an optional remote control panel to go with your Delta Pro. This will be useful for people in vans, RVs, that this will be their main power source, and they'll want a touchscreen in order to, to control their remote. 
And here are the two buttons in order to pair with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. If we go down to the bottom port here, this is what's called the infinity port. This is where you'll plug in the electric vehicle adapter in order to go up to an EV charger and supercharge your Delta Pro. The back of the Delta Pro is where we do all the connections. Underneath this back panel here is where you'll connect the wall charger, the car charger, or the solar panel charger. Right here is where you'll plug in the wall charger. Once you have the wall charger plugged in, you can choose between a fast and a slow recharge. This right here, one end goes in here, and then this end would go into the cigarette lighter of your car. In that same port goes the same plug. The other end are the MC4 adapters that we use to connect into the solar panels. With each expansion battery, you get one of these connector cables, and these are used to connect your expansion battery to your generator. You'll snap this into the generator. Once it's in the generator on battery port one, we'll put this into the extra battery port in the back of your expansion battery. That is literally as easy as it is to connect an expansion battery to the EcoFlow Delta Pro. Now that we've connected these with the battery cable, they actually act as a single unit. If I turn it on, both screens turn on. If I turn it off, both screens will shut off. That works for the main unit here. If I click and hold, both turn on and both turn off. Now we have essentially one large EcoFlow Delta with double the battery size. So this is now 7,200 watt hours of lithium iron phosphate battery here. One of the coolest things that comes with your EcoFlow Delta Pro is this adapter here. What this does is allow you to connect the smart gas generator to the EcoFlow Delta Pro, and it also allows you to connect the expansion batteries from an EcoFlow Delta Max. EcoFlow is coming out with a gas generator that will automatically kick on and be able to charge up your Delta Pro if the sun isn't powerful enough to be charging it up. This will also allow you to connect to the expansion batteries from a Delta Max. So if you've already made the investment and purchased some expansion batteries in your Delta Max, but you want to take advantage of the Delta Pro, all you're going to need is the EcoFlow Delta Pro generator, and you'll be able to use this adapter to connect your EcoFlow Delta Max expansion batteries. Before we go and throw this through a couple of tests, I want to quickly talk about transfer switches and connecting the EcoFlow Delta Pro directly to your home electrical panel so that you can get access to it during a grid down or power outage type of situation. Because of the sheer power and size of the EcoFlow Delta, this is one of the first battery based units that's actually a viable option for powering most of your electrical needs during a grid down type of situation. EcoFlow's option to connecting your EcoFlow Delta Pro directly to your home electrical panel is through what's called the smart home panel. You can get a licensed electrician to install what is basically a transfer switch right to your home panel. You'll be able to connect two EcoFlow Delta Pros directly to it. Each Delta Pro will get one leg and then you can get 7200 watts at 240 volts. That sounds a little bit complicated, but for those of us that are a little less electrically inclined, what that means is you're able to power appliances that normally battery-based units can't power. Stuff like a dryer, an oven, larger HVAC systems, big air conditioners, 240 volt well pumps, stuff like this. Not everybody is gonna be interested or need to have 240 volt appliances powered during a grid down situation. If that applies to you, then something like this is gonna be all that you need in order to get the EcoFlow Delta Pro powering your house when the grid goes down. This is what's called a manual transfer switch. I don't have the transfer switch installed yet, but I wanted to give you a visual of what this is gonna look like once you have this installed during a grid down situation. So, I have the transfer switch right there. I'll get a qualified electrician to connect it directly with my main home electrical panel here. Get the electrician to take four circuits from my main electrical panel here and run them directly into the transfer switch. Most people will choose like a fridge, freezer, maybe their full kitchen, Wi-Fi, lights somewhere. So you can get four 120 volt circuits from your house, run them through to that transfer switch right there. And then as you can see, on the front of the transfer switch, I have literally just an extension cord that plugs into the transfer switch. The other end will go right in here to the front of my EcoFlow Delta Pro with the expansion battery. And now when the grid goes down, I'll go over to my transfer switch and flip all four circuits over to generator. And all of a sudden I'm powering those major loads when the grid goes down right from the generators right here. 
Charging of your EcoFlow Delta Pro works the exact same way whether we're doing it from the wall, from solar panels, or with the car charger. What you do is you connect your expansion batteries and then you start charging through the main unit. That's gonna charge the first battery, the second battery, possibly the third battery, however many you have. Once you start charging through the first unit, it charges all of your batteries together. We can see here that once we've plugged it into the wall, we're getting around 16, just over 1600 watts into the main unit. And we're also showing an output of nearly 700 watts. That output corresponds to the expansion battery here. So we're putting in 1600 into the main unit and we're flowing through and charging up the expansion battery with the 700 watts right now. The unit is charging with the fast wall charger. We're gonna click it onto slow and see what happens. We're down at around 400 watts going in from the wall and only 200 passing through to the expansion battery. So I've wheeled out the full-size fridge and see how long the Delta Pro and the expansion battery can power the full-size fridge for. Looking at the front here, it shows that the fridge is only taking roughly 20 watts or so. With this draw, it's showing that our EcoFlow Delta Pro and the expansion battery could actually run the full-size fridge for around 10 days. So that just gives you an idea of how much battery power are actually in one of these units. We're gonna run a full load of laundry here. So we're starting this test off at 94% and we'll see how well it does. All right, looks to be finished. All right, so the full load of laundry looks like it's taken around 11% battery. Honestly, you could probably run like nine to 10 loads of laundry on a single charge here, not to mention the expansion battery. We're gonna see if the EcoFlow Delta Pro can power this snowblower. I'm gonna take it out for a spin here. We just got a fresh dusting and I'm gonna see if it can handle it. For the final test, I'm gonna do something a little quirky here. This is something I'm actually unable to do in my own house right now. In our house, we have the coffee maker and the kettle on the same outlet in the kitchen there. And I'm a big coffee drinker. My wife is more of a tea drinker. So in the morning, I'll come down, flick on the coffee, flick on the kettle to make her some tea and trip the breaker. Like this happens all the time. So I'm not actually able to power both of these appliances on the same outlet. Plug them both into the, uh, the Delta Pro here and see if the Delta Pro can power both of these at the same time time kind of something that I'm not even able to do at my own house so to wrap up I'm gonna to quickly touch on some of the use cases for these units and then go over some of the pros and cons. So one of the first ways that I think these are gonna be useful for people is for home backup power. Hurricane season on the East Coast wildfire season on the west coast when large storms or tornadoes rip through the middle of the country people lose power in their house for significant amounts of time and because of the size of these units these are some of the first battery based units that can pull significant amount of weight for major appliances in your home when the grid goes down whether or not you get the smart home panel and have 240 volt options available these will still be super useful for powering large appliances when the grid goes down Speaking of the smart home panel, I think another way that many people will start using this is to just lower their monthly electrical bill. Making the investment for the smart home panel and connecting 10 circuits, you'll be able to run a large portion of your home's electrical needs off of these units here. You simply get an electrician to install the smart home panel, connect two Delta Pros to it, you're recharging them for free from the sun, and now you're powering 10 circuits from your house for free without having to speak to the city or the county or the town or anything like that. And you'll significantly reduce your electrical bill with making an investment for something like this. We've already been selling the Delta Pro expansion battery and kits for a couple of months now. So another way that we're seeing a lot of customers use these are in mobile applications. Something like van life, schoolies, RVs, campers, they're loving these units already for a couple of reasons. The main one being a 3600 watt inverter is generally big enough to run any of those. RV, a camper, schoolie, van, 
Nobody really gets much bigger than a 3000 watt inverter. So having a 3600 watt inverter means that a single unit here will be able to power the majority of your needs in any of those mobile applications. They've got the lithium iron phosphate battery cells. If they're off grid and they're using this as their only power source, they don't need to worry about cycling it day in and day out because that's what it's designed to do. And then not to mention for RVs and campers, the dedicated 30 amp service here, the ability to simply plug into this unit and then run things in your camper without the noise that a normal generator makes is gonna be super valuable to a lot of people. You add in a couple of expansion batteries and some solar panels and you're able to boondock borderline indefinitely, air conditioners, lights, fridge, Wi-Fi, all those kind of things will be able to be powered from here and you can simply just plug into the front. Another way that we're seeing a lot of people use these are for off-grid properties, hunting cabins, places that they're gonna be for around three out of the four seasons. With an off-grid property or a hunting cabin where you're not gonna be there all year, people don't wanna go and invest in a permanent system since they're generally not there minimum four months or for at least the full winter. What we're seeing with options like this with a big inverter, expansion batteries, panels, is that during the spring or when they're opening up their cabin, they'll bring their whole system there, set it up, power your off-grid property for the three seasons that you're there. And then when you're getting ready to shut it down for the season, you pack this up, throw it in the back of your vehicle, drive home with it. And now you've got backup power during the winter for your main home. So I'm gonna start with the cons and there's three main cons that I've come across. The first con is gonna be the weight. The unit does weigh around 100 pounds and that does make it more difficult to maneuver. It's not impossible, they've got some nice handles to move it around, but 100 pounds is just 100 pounds and that's going to make it more difficult for a lot of people. As we've already seen, they've got the handle and they've got the wheels on it, so it is easy enough to move around, but if you have to go up and down stairs, 100 pounds does get difficult. The expansion batteries, you can't charge them by themselves and they don't have any ports on them. So buying an expansion battery by itself is obviously useless, like you can't really use it to do anything else. I would have really appreciated if there were maybe some USB outlets on here or you could plug this into the wall by itself, charge it up separately. The fact that you have to charge up the expansion battery through the main unit, I don't know, I think that could have been changed and the ability to charge this separately and some plugs on the front would have made this a lot more useful. The last con I'm gonna say is the overall solar input. You can get 1600 watts of solar into this unit, which isn't bad, but it would be really nice with the size of the batteries that are in this unit and the expansion battery to be able to panel more than 1600 watts. If you could get even 2000, 2400, 3000 watts of solar going into the generator and the expansion batteries would be really nice to see. For the pros, I feel like I've spent most of the video talking about what's awesome about this unit here, but I'll list them out fairly quickly. It's got a very large inverter. It's got a large battery. The batteries are lithium iron phosphate, so they can cycle them for a long time. Honestly, most people, it's gonna last them 15, 20 years. It's expandable. You can connect two Delta Pros and get 240 volt output. You can quick charge this through an electric vehicle charging station. We've got a dedicated 30 amp service on the front. These outlets are 20 amps, not 15 amps. You can get 30 amps out of the DC side of the unit. There's a remote control that you can use for van life RVs. They've even got an app that you can use to control and monitor everything that's going on in your unit. If you've got any questions or concern or you want to discuss or you're not sure which kit makes the most sense for you, just give us a shout. Give us a call, fire us an email, reach out on live chat. We're always answering and we'll be able to discuss what makes the most sense for you.